Hello farmers and welcome back to the Hills of Tuscany. We are in our Oxbow Grape Harvester, which we're going to convert over down at the shop to a fertilizer spreader. Um, the reason why I brought it down to the shop and it didn't convert it up at the vineyard is the seed hut that we have, I cannot buy liquid fertilizer from that hut. So I had to come down to the store anyways to fill this up. So that's why we're at the store. And I got to turn on the interactive zone markers because I don't remember where the trigger... Oh, it's right in front of me. There we go. Uh, customize. That's what we want to do. We don't want the harvester. We don't want the overloader. We want the multi-row sprayer. And we've already paid for that. So we are all set. Uh, customize. Thank you very much. And let's go ahead and turn the interactive zone markers back off. But now let's come into here. Uh, pallets. Liquid fertilizer, and they're the same price, so I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, the question is, how many do I need of these? That's that's the big thing. And the reason why I don't want to buy too much of it is because I can't unload the fertilizer that I don't use out of here. So when I convert it back over to a harvester, I'll lose it. Uh, where is... There's our pallet over there. Still got all of our headers for our root crop harvester down here as well. Uh, someone did mention, though, for the sunflower header, what we could do is, because we've got the low loader, we could just go ahead and put a, our sunflower header on there and bring it back up to the farm and just leave it outside like I kind of planned. I think that'll work. I mean, the sunflower header can't be that expensive, uh, but I, I'm probably still just going to go ahead and do with the low loader kind of a thing. Uh, if I go to headers, is it in here? I can't remember. Where is it? Is it this one right here? Uh, I think that's the one. Let me just scroll down. Yeah, that's the one. And if I do combinations, uh, yeah, the trailer is only ten grand, and the way that I'm spending money probably not that big of a deal. Uh, all right, the amount of money we spent. Let's just go ahead and get another pallet of liquid fertilizer for thirty-two hundred. I spent ten million. I think I can spend a little bit more than I probably need to. And it's probably not going to take all of that, right? It's going to leave a little bit there. Of course it is. Of course it is. I think what I also will be doing today as well is buying the things I know we're going to need for this year. And then kind of go from there on the money situation. Um, yeah. I mean, I know there's a few people out there that probably are new to the channel watching this series. And kind of, they, I've seen a couple comments saying you don't, you're not leaving yourself enough money. Uh, yeah, we've been down this road many times on many different series, and we'll be just fine, uh, I think. It hasn't caught me off guard yet. This could be the one, though. I don't think so, but it could be. But we should be fine on the money. But, yeah, we're going to buy the Sunflower Header today just to make sure we got that. We're also going to buy ourselves a baler because the cows are going to need some straw at some point, and we got our wheat field that we got to take care of, so we'll buy that. And we'll see how much money we got left over. I would like to buy another field, if that's possible. The good thing about the Hills of Tuscany, the land is uh, on the cheap side. It, it, it's not that expensive. So we can go ahead and probably buy something. Uh, definitely something maybe like a, with a root crop into it. So we can go ahead and make some more canned vegetables and canned soup. Probably there is a road that kind of sneaks down through the forest there. Down. You know what? This, this field's not growing, so we're going to cut across here. Um... But yeah, we, we, I, I got to find a way to make a whole bunch of cash here. To, I mean, it's not about the money, but then again, I got $10 million to pay off. And uh, yeah, we, we got to go ahead and find some way to bring in some of the cash, right? Probably should have my beacons on the way I'm driving across the hills of Tuscany. All right, and now we'll scooch up through here. So the good thing about this sprayer is we can do four rows at a time. So let me go ahead and unfold this. And let's go ahead and turn it on. And boom, four rows at a time. Ooh, are you going to have the horsepower to get up the hill? Oh, we're clearing it, so that, that's a good thing. All right, once I get done with the first row, we'll just double check to make sure that we are fertilizing our grapes. Yeah, it's just, it's just unfortunate that this will not actually go, uh, the olives will not go 
you know, we can't we can't harvest the olives. It won't work. Uh, let me just double check that we are fertilizing our grapes here. That's going to be very key. Uh, where are we at here? We are somewhere over here. Yep, we can see the fertilization going in. It's turning blue. It's kind of hard to see. actually if I turn out plowing. Yeah, you can see where we've been there. So uh, we are all set to go. I may do. <laughs> I may overlap in a couple of rows, or I may miss a row here and there, because uh, it's kind of, kind of, it's kind of, kind of. I can't count that many rows. Uh, I'm stuck. Now we're unstuck. There we go. And this was the main reason I got the oxbow, so when I fertilize, we can take care of four rows at a time. And as I mentioned, if you're trying to use a course play with this, this, uh, well, at least last time I tried it about maybe a week before I started the series, it would not work. I mean, you could set it up. It does get the course in. But when course play gets up to the first vine, it kind of pulls up and stops and will not continue. So we'll make some quick work of fertilizing these grapes. And then uh, I think we're pretty much done with the month of May. Um, I just double checked all of our fields before we came on, or at least I started recording. And yeah, we should be all set with our with every field that we currently own. Everything's fertilized, everything's planted. We're all set to go. Yeah, I'm not using that much fertilizer, so I'll have to keep this in mind for next season, how much we're going to be using. I'll try to unload the fertilizer, but I've been having issues with the liquid fertilizer unloading from my equipment on almost every series that I've, I've been on. Not sure if it's a conflicting mod or, or whatever it is, but... The liquid fertilizer, I cannot empty out of my containers. Hoping for some decent numbers from grapes this year. With the uh, deleting of the existing grapes that we had and buying more grapes, I can't tell if we got more or less than the previous year. Actually, let me leave the plowing off until I get done, but yeah, it looks like we're... Got the first stage of fertilization. Oh, I gotta put some lime down in this field. All right, we can uh, we can do that really quickly. Watch out, deer. And this could be a little tricky here because these grapes, I thought when I read it on the post that these uh, modded grapes are further apart, but actually it looks like they're closer together. And I think that's a problem because if you look at my sprayers, they're almost like on the edges of the other rows. And when I was doing the other grapes, which are the in-game ones, we had plenty of space there. Well, I shouldn't say plenty of space, but we had space. I could be missing a row, but if I do, I don't, I don't want to say it's the end of the world. Uh, the yield isn't that great on grapes as it is. So if I miss the state of fertilization, I could be losing like, I don't know, 50 liters of grapes somewhere around there. Yeah, so we can kind of see these are the modded grapes. When I go down the center line, my furthest out uh, fertilizer sprayers are pretty much like right on top of the vines. Now... As I turn that off, we go over to the in-game grapes. Yeah, you can see we're not as close to the vine. So the modded ones are actually closer together than the base game ones. Yeah, so we're not going through that much fertilizer at all. So one container is more than enough. I really should mod Omatana's seed hut. I'm not sure why, I think I mentioned before, I'm not sure why she made it to where we can't buy liquid fertilizer from it. Well, we can buy 
just about everything else from it. So I may go in and edit the XML file so I can buy the liquid fertilizer or just buy a few pallets, bring it on up. Or, best yet, at, when I get done with the fertilizing today, I can unload the fertilizer that we got. I can't remember when I convert this back to a harvester what's going to happen. I think I don't get the money back on the fertilizer. Now in the future I would like to have more grapes. But it costs a good penny to put these down. So I'll just have to wait for the farm to start accumulating some more money. And the weird thing is I bought the land where the big BGA is in the southern part of the map because we did put down a wind turbine and now I don't really plan on buying the BGA itself because the small one we got up at the farm will do everything except for the pomace so I think we could sell the pomace straight up and spending a million dollars on the big BGA just to transform the pomace over to electricity methane and digestate really isn't worth it now unless the cows for some reason produce a lot of manure slurry and the small BGA can't handle it, then maybe in the future we will. But being a million dollars and uh, we're maxed out on our loan, that's going to be in the very distant future. <laughs> but we'll see how the things go on here on the hills of Tuscany. Maybe the candy shop and everything else. Um, once I get done spending cash on all this stuff that we have needed, maybe uh, the money coming in will be a little bit better. Money-wise, the series does remind me a lot like Hinterland, where we borrow $10 million. Uh, the thing that really made us the money on Hinterland was uh, doing the coffee in the greenhouses. I think the, everyone, a few people told me about uh, making coffee or coffee beans on vines here as well or something like that. I uh, don't think I'll get into that just because I got my hands full of doing what we're doing currently. And adding another mod on here and trying to take care of that at the same time might be a little bit too much. So maybe on a future series. But on Hinterland, we were growing the coffee beans in the greenhouse. And that mod there, I still don't quite understand because the, co the raw coffee beans were worth more than the roasted ones. So we, would make, we were making the coffee beans in the greenhouses. And then you're supposed to, in some sense, bring the raw coffee beans to the roaster and roast them but we were actually losing money by doing that so we just went ahead and grew them in the greenhouses and sold them as is and that's where we got a lot of our money on hinterland uh let's see i don't like i said i'm probably skipping a row here and there and i shouldn't have but i think overall we're going to be fine I'm not really sure what's going to be our money maker here in the hills of Tuscany, but I've been having fun doing the grapes. Hard to believe, I know, but maybe after a little couple of seasons doing grapes, I'll be glad that we got course play to take care of some of it. I mean, the only vineyard that we got course play handling is the one we're currently in. All the others I will have to do. For some reason, I just remember back on No Man's Land when I was doing grapes, I did not enjoy it that much. The first season, it was like, oh, this is nice. But after that, I was like, I think I think it was uh, seeing the yield that we got. And it's like, I spent all that money and that's how much grapes we got. So <laughs> and the same thing can be said for the olives. Now, let me just check the map to see how we're looking here. Um... Yeah, it looks like we're doing pretty darn good. Uh, needs lime. Let me just delete that for a second. So, yeah, I got to put lime in that field there. All right, so we got the white grapes over here that we need to take care of. And I'd left myself enough room to turn around here. Of course, Blake can't do it, but we can. And I was painting in grass where we had the old field from the previous season. Uh, but I think that's the wrong type of grass to put in. Let me go ahead and fold this up so we can get past the shrubbery here. 
I could definitely put down another row of grapes in here if I wanted to, but uh, we may do something else with that right there. I'm not too sure what yet, but, you know, we'll find something. I think uh, where we put the parsnips down, if I'm going to make more grapes, more vines, that would be where I would do it. So these are white grapes that we're now fertilizing. And from my understanding, when the, when the uh, grass grows a little bit in between the vines and we mulch it halfway through the season, that is when we'll get our second stage of fertilization. Like I said, it's been a couple years since I've really done grapes, so it's got to come back to me. <laughs> and I think when I did the grapes on No Man's Land, though, at that point we had uh, precision farming turned on. And we were trying to get the grapes to work with precision farming, and that's when we kind of found out, yeah, they don't really work well. It doesn't really matter on that sense. So, with the amount of grapes that we currently have, I'm using about a thousand liters of fertilizer, and that's it. And it didn't take us that long to get it done. Probably took me longer to go down to the store and convert this over to a sprayer and drive back to the vineyard. All right, and that's fertilized, perfect. Right, let's spin around here and let's see if I can unload the liquid fertilizer that we have. Be great if we can. I'm guessing it's not going to let me, but cannot perform that action here. That's what I always get uh, when I'm trying to load the fertilizer. Yep, not too sure. All right, we'll leave it in there just in case. I don't want to convert it back over to a harvester just yet, because you never know. Uh, um, you never know what's going to happen. I may, I may, you know, get more grapes. You never know. All right, let's jump into. The Antonio Cario and the spreader is over here, but I'm going to need the weight on the front. All right, this setup is a little bit weird. I need the weight on the front because when the spreader is full of lime, it lifts the front end of the tracks off the ground, but when it's empty, I got the opposite problem. That should be more than enough for what we're doing here. And this will spread 42 meters, I do believe. Uh, nope, those are the ones that are done. We're coming over here. So if I just pick a middle row, we should be good enough. If I don't... Uh, run into a vine, we'll be good enough. Watch out for the crop in front of us. I think that's in the first growth stage, so I think we're fine. And that looks like it got all the rows. And it did, so we're good on that part. Let me turn on the plowing part. That's always gonna look kinda weird. But there we go. The grapes are all set until they're ready to be mulched. That little Kubota spreader works wonderfully. And I used that mod back on Solendra, I do believe. Not that particular sprayer, but it was part of the same mod pack that I used. Solendra seems like so long ago which it was because from Solendry we went to Goldcrest Valley. And then we moved on from Goldcrest Valley already. Uh, yep, so we're all set there. Uh, let me just go ahead and let's check on the animals themselves. 
Um, you guys got plenty of hay, uh, 15,000 liters. You're only using 12,000 or sorry, 1200 per month. So you guys are fine there. You got plenty of water and the cows, um, you got about three months more, but we are making silage currently. So hopefully maybe I should just speed up the rest of the day and we'll get some silage. And we'll put that into the TMR and we'll get, should have some TMR in the morning. But you know what? I think they'll be fine. I think we'll just go ahead and sleep through the rest of the day. I think that'll work. But what I want to do, though, is I do want to purchase, even though we're not ready for this stuff yet, I want to buy the equipment that we need so I, I we have it and I don't actually go, oops, I don't have the money. Uh, is that? No, that's a regular header. Just trying to make sure we're getting what we need here. Can I color this one? I cannot. Well, it's fine. It's 92000 all right, we got ourselves a sunflower header. And for a baler, I don't really have any modded ones, I don't think. Oh, we do have the straw harvest pack that we might be doing here. So I do like myself the square baler. Um, and we're basically just going to be doing straw with it. So having silage additive into it doesn't really matter. I am already using a fence. I really haven't used the New Holland for a bit. And we got a New Holland tractor that we'll be using on uh, 240, 240. But this one, the Coon, does not require as much horsepower. So we'll probably get that one. Because with the hills, that's going to matter. What, what, what about the Massey Ferguson? That needs more. 12.2 um, tons. That weighs more. Uh, yeah, I think we'll just go ahead and get the Coon. Uh, any special type of wheels on there? How about the BKTs? That sounds good to me. Yep. 164,000. Buy it. That leaves me with 71 grand. 71 grand. And I was thinking at some point, I would like to get actually another wind turbine down by the BGA. They just to kind of help us bring in some money. The sooner I get it, the sooner I'll get my money back on it and I'll actually start making us some money. Um, I mean, it's going to make us money from the get-go, but, you know, to repay for itself is what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, I need to come on down here for a couple of reasons. I do want to take care of the greenhouses, so let's try to spend all of them, my money if I can. Uh, let me get water in here, and then i got to bring some seed over. I think it's seed we're low on. And we'll start making some strawberries and get strawberries actually into the candy shop. That way, when uh, that gets running again, we are set to go. Uh, can you find the trigger for this? Apparently, I did. I think the trigger is more towards the side of it. I could also get water from the seed hut as well. Luckily, the water is free. Top off the other greenhouse with water. Oh, my truck is actually over here. Oh, that's right, because I was using the big water tanker when I realized these greenhouses don't actually take that much. That needs to go back over to production lane. Now, these greenhouses go through the seed and fertilizer pretty darn quick. But then again, it's based on a month's uh, amount, and I'm only playing one day per month. So if you're play playing like five days a month, then it's not going to go through it that much at all. Uh, i got to find the seed. There's fertilizer. Se Oops, seed. There we go. I think this one is on this side. Yep, and the strawberries are now growing again. It's going to take the whole grain cart. And I'll probably put some fertilizer in the greenhouses as well. ones that commented about uh, dwindling my money down. I can feel you cringing in your seat right now, probably. 
it'll be all good. I think. What will hurt me is if I'm forgetting to buy something, which I, you know, I could, and I can't borrow. I actually got the uh, the mod that allows us to borrow the 10 million. Now I could go in the XML file and borrow more than just add it on, like uh, I've done in previous series. I can handle a $55 million loan like we did on the Pacific Northwest back in FS19. We can handle... Uh, oh, that's the wrong button. Uh, we can definitely handle... $10 million. Uh, solid fertilizer. Fill that up, please. I know after I did the Pacific Northwest in FS19 on $55 million loan payment, um, people were challenging me to do $100 million, which would be kind of interesting for sure. Um, but the Pacific Northwest went on for 180 episodes or whatever. And a lot of it at the end was just a matter of just repeating what we were doing over and over. Uh, we weren't buying any new equipment or whatever. It was just a matter of Time to do the silage, time to do the cotton, time to uh, make... Actually, we didn't have clothing back then. I was going to say clothing. I was like, no, I think we just sold the cotton as is. All right, there we go. So now all of our production buildings, I think, that we had running are good to go. Uh, so, yeah, we're making some silage. We'll be good there. At least the cow should be. And I see blue dots everywhere that we have running. No red dots. So everything's good to go. So as for the month of June, I really don't know what we have to do. We may be just be skipping a month. But I could be, uh, if we don't really have anything to do, I may come back over and grab our truck and grab the flat bed. And we'll go down and pick up our headers to our root crop harvester and also the header to do the sunflowers. Right, let's head back on home, meaning we're going to teleport. Wait, I did fertilize the grass field, right? Where's our gra grass field? Yep, grass field's all done. All the rest of the fields are done. Let's go ahead and, and call it a day. Uh, so we're going to bed, we'll just say, with 64,000. So with our loan payment, along with our wind turbine, how are we going to, are we actually making a profit overnight or are we just losing a little bit of money? Let's find out. 64,000, correct? I think I said 64,000. It's almost going to be 24 hours. It was almost like what? Half past 10 in the morning. We're going to wake up at eight in the morning. I think we're just going to lose a little bit of cash. Hopefully like not more than five. Ooh, okay. Uh... <laughs> All right, so we are losing. <laughs> yeah, we are. Uh, that was like 15, 16,000. All right, that kind of stings a little bit. Um, let's see, I need the T8. Let's grab our new Holland T8. I need to go down, and we should be grabbing a good amount of silage and bringing that to the TMR mixer. Oh, I should actually have some crop to sell. Wait, why do I got grass in here? Oh, that's right, because we had a little bit of grass left in our grass field. I'm like, yeah, when I go back down later on, I'll just dump that in somewhere. Uh, we might as well just dump it into the uh, uh, silo fermenter. But I should have soybeans this month to sell. I think we harvested a soybean field last year. Did we not? Soybeans. Uh, best time to sell that is in July. Price is going up. All right. So if we are losing $15,000 per day, I got about three months, or sorry, uh, $15,000 per month. I got three months before our bank account hits zero. And that's if I don't spend anything. There's our sunflowers growing. Oh, the wheat field is ready for harvest. Oh, that's right. We're in June. June, June, June. All right, so we got a wheat field to harvest. So yeah, that does give us something to do. Uh, as for the wheat, I think I'll just put that into the silo for now. 
Best time to sell that, of course, is going to be late December, early January. Uh, we really don't have the money to buy the grain meal to make flour, although I don't plan on making a lot of cereal crop and making flour out of it. Especially not this year, but we'll put it in storage. Well, the honey is definitely piling up. Just dump that in there. It looks like it's still making some silage. Sounds like it's chugging away. Oh, that's right. We got to open up the uh, the forge wagon, or else the silage is not going to go in. All right. How much silage is in here? I should get actually a full trailer. I do believe. That's what we put in here. While that's filling up, let's just double check on the cows. Yeah, the cows are doing fine. Water's fine. Their health is looking good. Um, I cannot see the slurry or manure. Oh, that's right. We don't have manure yet. We will pretty soon, though. Uh, and the sheep are doing well. So all this is going into our TMR mixer, which we get as a byproduct, mostly from the candy shop. Let's put the cover back over that. There's our flatbed. She had the beacons on here. I mean, we do have product to sell around here. Oop, yeah, watch out for the fence. It's just a matter of when do I want to sell it. As for the vegetables and the productions out of that, it seems like most of the time that is a good time to sell it. I mean, the price doesn't fluctuate that much. And if I remember, the drop-off point for the silage is here somewhere. There it is. Perfect. And let's go ahead and turn this production on so we can start making the TMR for it. Right there. So basically, um, whatever the amount of silage I put in there, if I triple that, that's what we should get for TMR. So we should get about 130,000 liters of TMR out of it. So that's pretty darn good. Uh, activate that. If we ever run out of TMR, we'll just go ahead and give the cows some hay and they'll be fine. Uh, oh, okay, I'm getting stuck on the back. All right, eventually I'll get out of here, but the, the more I try to get out, the more I'm getting stuck. I think this is the second time I've done this. Uh, yep. One way to solve this problem. Just give it a little bit of a tug, I think. There we go. And then, <laughs> and then it's still, I still hit the back end of the trailer. All right, we can bring this back. So now it's time to harvest the wheat, I suppose. But before I get to that, I just want to jump over to the vineyard and I want to check on the grapes themselves to see when is the time to mulch in between the grapes? So we'll bring back the forage wagon. Uh, yeah, I do need a pressure washer at some point as well so we can clean our equipment. make our way around here. That's the grain trailer that we're going to need. Probably use the Lamborghini for that. Although the T8 is probably more suitable for what we're doing. I think today we'll use the Lamborghini. All right, turn the beacons off there. All right, 
Vineyard. Just double check on the grape situation. Is it time to mulch in between the grapes? Uh, it said something when I was jumping over. Got to run all the way down to an end, I suppose. and uh, So maybe not ready to mulch. Well, it's not saying ready to mulch. Well, fertilized 50%, so I'm hoping... Let's see, when did the grapes actually... Is it October for grapes for harvesting? Uh, September. So we got a, we got two more months. I hope that we have mulching to do. Um, but we'll worry about that when it comes to it, I hope. And uh, we'll see what happens. For those who do grapes, let me know. Let's see, the combine's right here. No, I got to get into it. Uh, inspection required in four months. Current damage is two. Well, it should be good enough for today, right? Uh, it won't break down on us. And by the way, if you're kind of new and not sure what's going on with the inspection required in four months and current damage, what that is all about, I am trying out a mod called the Realistic Damage System. I think I said that correctly. It is in mods links down below. And basically, it's just a different way of doing repairs on things. So instead of just driving up and repairing it, doing inspections and such, you can find more damage on your equipment than you knew about. Alright, so let me get this set up here. Uh, let's see, the header is facing the wrong way. So if I come down here and spin it around, we should be good. This will work out well, I think. Should have a pretty good yield off the field. We bought the field as is and the other farmer took very good care of it. on widespread or are you on swath dropping? No, we want you to switch over, please. We want the straw. I think this combine holds 18,000 liters? I don't remember. I use so many different modded combines. It's a little bumpy down through here. It is the same combine I did use on East Vineland. So if you can remember how much that one held, that's exactly what we're using. Let's go up between these beehives. Now, the next crop to go in this field is actually going to be potatoes. We're going to keep some flowers and canola and potatoes in these two fields because we got the bees here and the bees will help out the yield in the, those uh, type of fields. Yep, when someone put down the beehives, the land kind of terraformed around it. Originally, when I was putting down the beehives, I thought I was going to put down a, a whole row of beehives. But really, the ones that we got, they're producing so much honey in the candy shop. I don't think it's going through it as much. So if we get over, over, overstocked with honey, we can always sell that, which I believe that would be like February or March. Would be the time to sell that.
Yeah, the only time I think I'm going to have a cereal crop field is when we get low on straw. Now, I know on some maps, canola could give us straw. So we'll have to see what happens when we harvest the canola this year. If that gives us straw or not. I know there is a mod out there that will allow us to turn pretty much every crop in where we get straw off of it, including like corn. But we only need straw for the cows, and we're not going to have that many cows. It only hold 65 in that pen. We'll have to uh, get this straw build up today. Not not in this episode, but in this in-game day. And then uh, get the straw up to the cow bar. Now, as I've been told, and I haven't tested this yet or not, um, we cannot put just a straw bale in the trigger. It's got to be shredded. So, shredders aren't that expensive, but the way, <laughs> the way I'm burning through money, I better buy that quick if we're going to put straw in there. And that'll be kind of crucial for us because that's how we're going to get solid manure. And then, of course, solid manure will be going into a small BGA. Let's zip around this field. It's not going to take me too long. Um, but the way it's filling up, I should get one combine load. I don't think I'll get two. But there's only one way to find out, and that's to keep on harvesting. Jesse was born on a winter's night in the middle of a storm. The road was blocked, so Jesse was born in this old house. Raised on love in those sunny years when there was magic in the world. Her laughter traveled well across those hardwood floors. So the combine holds just a little bit more than I thought. I was kind of thinking like 20 some odd thousand. I was like, nah, it's gotta be 18. And now I kind of forgot what it was. Was it like 23,000? Well, either way, holds quite a bit, which is good because uh, I can pretty much, uh, these fields aren't that big. I mean, I'm coming from Oceanside Forest a little bit to where <laughs> we were harvesting a half million liters off of a field. So yeah, these fields don't, uh, they seem kind of small to me right now. Um, but either way, yeah, it's not going to hold that much. I am actually thinking maybe I will buy the grain mill just to, just to push the money a little bit further, right? And maybe we'll just do one crop per year. If it's not that expensive, I want to say it might be just 45000 which I do have the money for. And don't worry, we got, we got things to sell. We got a lot of canned vegetables and some soup that we could sell uh, that could bring us in a good amount of money. And actually, the candy is pretty close to being at its peak as well. So we do have money sitting around that's almost near the perfect time to sell it. It's fun kind of living on the edge a little bit. This is the last step right here. So next time we'll be in this field bailing with the coon baler. I gotta clear that stuff out from the shop. I may actually get that done in between episodes or at least begin next episode uh, being down there with the truck. 
and getting those headers out of there and the sunflower header back. I wonder if I could put it all on the trailer together. Um, you want to empty in there? You got to be over the trailer. Why won't you empty? There you go. Uh, where is the grain mill here? I, I've seen it before. I just don't... Cereal storage? Uh, that can't be it. Chocolate production. Grain mill. And turn on interactive zone markers because I don't know where the trigger is. Right here. How much is it? 96000 Okay, so I don't have the money for that. So we're storing the wheat for now. Storing the wheat for now. I mean... Next episode, I may sell some stuff and we may buy the grain mill and make some flour out of it. Only time will tell. Uh, let's jump back over to here. All right, we are good. I'll turn the combine. Actually, let me move the combine so it's at least out of the way. Well, either way, anywhere I put it, it's kind of in the way. At least give myself some room. That way, if I come on next episode, don't move the combine. We can at least get the straw bailed up. Watch out for the crop behind us. So how much wheat did we end off off the field? Actually, almost a full trailer. 36 and a half thousand liters, so that's not too bad. And the one thing I don't know is as well, I don't know how much this silo holds up here. Luckily, the Omatana silos, like we're using on American Falls, we're using one. Uh, I'll probably use, like, the the wooden one. I think that only costs, like, 10 grand. And that will hold millions of liters. I don't really ever expect to have that much in the silo to begin with. Because most of the crop that we're harvesting is going right to production buildings. It says that the crop that we currently have in the silo, like the sorghum... That was once in the grass field. Uh, we just bought the field because we needed a grass field to start with, and that sorghum in it. Uh, soybeans, I think, is where the canola currently is. And now the wheat. Uh, we just got the wheat because, well, we need straw, as I mentioned before. But I may be buying that grain mill next episode. Don't be surprised if I don't. And I think I got to also hit Y to open up the trailer itself. Yes, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, so if we go into our, our stock market page, we can kind of see if we sell stuff at the max price. Um, I mean, I got like 360000 but it's mainly uh, the preserved food that we got like uh, $60,000 60, there. If we go down to the candy, I got forty sixty two. So we got like 125000 a couple hundred thousand dollars right there. Of course, we're not selling everything that uh, that's here. Like TMR, we won't be selling. Um, actually, we got we got uh, a lot of milk already. A lot of milk. I got twenty seven thousand. Well, the cows got twenty seven thousand liters of milk. The cows are producing some milk. I mean, I knew they would, but that just seems like a lot. So we come over here and just uh, have a look at the cows. So yeah, I'll have to buy a bale shredder, I think. We will bring a, just a full-size bale up here and try it. Uh, but then we'll get ourselves a bale shredder. So milk, uh, we got 31,000 liters of slurry, so I can start bringing that down to the BGA as well. I would like to get ourselves a small trailer. And maybe the one I was looking at in American Falls, I could use that. Actually, is that... Is that a modded one or... No, it's right here. Uh, it's worth 50, got a 52000 So I don't have the money for that. So I may, I may buy that just to move the digestate down. And then, of course, we do have the big tanker to sell milk. Um, am I, am I going to buy old productions? Do I want to buy the dairy production? As, I think the dairy production is right here around the corner. The dairy production, yeah. I said I wasn't going to buy all the productions. Now I'm thinking about doing so. Hundred and something. Seventy thousand. I mean, if the cows are going to produce that much milk, then maybe it'd be worth it to make butter, cheese, so on and so forth. 
All right, so when I come in here to drop off the milk, using my truck, the big truck, is not going to work out that well. Because um, <laughs> I don't really have a place to turn around in here. Yeah, that could be that could be something I may not want to do. I mean, someone could say, well, tear down a wall and you could drive through. Maybe. But I'll keep this in the back of my mind for now. It's not like i got to bring the milk right on down here and do it right away. But, I mean, if we're, we're going to have that much milk on the farm, uh, making it into something else, we'll get our money back over time. And it'll profit us just a little bit better. But I'm also thinking about maybe with the money that we sell, maybe I'll buy another field. I know, I still want to spend more money because we have to. And I can't help myself. Uh, and I can't get around these uh, fences. Oh, if I go over here, we'll be just fine. So the grapes have been taken care of for the most part. Uh, they have one stage of fertilization into them. So now we just got to wait for it to be mulched. Uh, the wheat field has been harvested. So we got to make some straw bales and uh, take care of the animals a little bit next episode, which is what we'll do. And harvest season has begun. Um, the canola, I think, will be what's next on the list, right, for harvesting, which would be good. But it's not what's next here. Or is it? Actually, canola field could be ready. The canola field might be actually ready for harvest. It is. So we'll be harvesting that next episode and getting that over to, uh, to make some oil. And get the oil ready so when we harvest the potatoes, which are over here, I believe, we can start making some potato chips. Just checking on all the other fields that we own. Just to get myself up to date. So yeah, the canola is ready for harvest. And I'll do some looking around to see how much fields cost. Um, they're not that expensive, honestly. I mean, that field right there is only 326000 That's a pretty darn big field if you take consideration. That's like these two fields put together. I know, I'm trying to spend money that I don't even have yet. <laughs> but maybe we'll have some at the beginning of the next episode when we start selling some stuff. But anyways, that's going to do for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. And I'll catch you again right here in the hills of Tuscany. But until then, have a good one.